Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to knowledge tv today we will discuss language related to linguistic so what is language the word language is derived from the latin word lingua means tongue it is a french word language also refers to a specific form of speech mean that we're talking so this is a language okay some are the characteristic of language what is a language language is a means of communications daily to daily life we communicate through language there are different type of language language is verbal vocal language is sound language is verbal sometimes it is in written form sometimes it is in vocal form okay so language is a sound sound but this sound is not an ordinary sounds some are different different kinds of sound you hear from things but those sounds which are meaningful they are called language language is non instinct stantive and conventional language is a mean of cultural transmissions okay it's every language you know that uh, represent the culture language is a cultural transmission every it uh, transfer the culture and culture itself transfer the language from one to another for example a person belong belonging to pashto language they will represent that language and that culture in the specific language similarly english peoples will represent their own culture in the english way language is species specific it means that there are billions of different kinds of living organisms live in this world so every species have their own type of communication and language so the more advanced language is human being language because it is very complicated and it is very advanced as compared to other animals if you compare animals just like a cow crow etc they have their specific and some limited sounds for specific things but a human language is infinite they have a numberless sounds and communications language arbitrary in nature it changes with the passage of time because number of words come to this language unique creativity and evolving natures language is a social institution because it represents the social structure of a personality of a human society every uh, social uh, for example socials have uh, like like schools like or uh, urban life like uh, a person uh, jobs in the as a doctor and engineers they have their own specific language origin of language so there are different theory about the origin of language the first one is the vowel theory which language began when our ancestors started imitating the natural sounds around them so according to this theory that how the language is originated so it is uh, it is the remarks of this theory that that our ancestors okay they will imitate the natural sounds for example bo wo or etc these are such a type of sounds they imitate them so or uh, for example a person uh, feel a fence with a coach so this sound will be uh, produced next time when they feel the same situations so according to this every day uh, the natural sounds imitates the ding dong theory speeches arose in response to the essential qualities of object and the environments so according to uh, this theory that uh, the species which they encounter the things so according to that they produce such sounds so from this the language is developed the la la theory the language might have developed from sound associated with love play especially songs so uh, sometime uh, during the play the people rise cry so that sound will be a language origin like uh, other sometimes the songs different uh, sounds so 
According to Sri Dev, the, uh, the, the language is originated from Dev. The four four theory language might have developed from sound associated with love, play, and especially song. So similarly, this is uh, just like the law theory. The Yi Yi Ho theory. This theory holds speech begin with interjections. So according to these theories, the language developed from the sounds they encounter during uh, a play and during their play, different games are other things <clears throat> now give a little uh, explanation to the characteristic of language that language is a mean of communication how it is a mean of communications so language is very important means of communication people can express their thoughts ideas emotions and feeling with the help of language there are also other means of communication that are non-verbal in nature like gesture facial expressions nod of head wink of eye body movements smiles mathematical symbols communication one cannot extract full meaning out these expressions also depend on language they are not flexible perfect extensive as languages language is so important means of communication that is very hard to think of society without language because it gave word to human thoughts and feelings and controls guides all human activities without language a man is nothing language is verbal vocal language for example language is organization of sounds of vocal symbols the sound produced from the mouth to convey some meaningful message it also means that speech is primary to writing there are several languages uh, in the world which have no writing system yet they are language because they are spoken music and singing also imply vocal sound but they are not language language is systematic word with Symbolism it makes up verbal in such as sounds word phrases which are in certain ways to make sentences Language is vocal as much as made up of sound which can be produced by the organ of speech Language is non stained to and conventional Each generation transmits, transmits this convention onto the next like a human institution language also change and die grow and expand every language then is a convention as a community it is non instinctive because it is acquired by human beings nobody gets a language and heritage he acquired it and he has been provided with innate ability to acquire the language so there is a system here in the brain which is called late language acquisition device which helps to learning a language it worked to ninth year whatever the environment is produced to end that baby so they will get that language for example if the environment is Pashto so he or she will speak the Pashto language if you provide environment of English language so the children will learn the language of that they will speak English language so it depends on the environment which are produced during their net required uh, age of language Language is a mean of cultural transmission. Language is the vehicle and transmitter of culture. Language is carrier of culture and civilization because human thoughts, ideas, culture, and philosophy travel from one generation to the next generation with the help of language.